I'm here with Tina Puckett in Studio 305 of Whiting Mills. Hi, Tina. How are you today? Good. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for having me in your studio. I'm thrilled to um, see more of your work and have you tell us a little bit about your process and um, your, your beautiful baskets. Okay. Well, shall we start with the mountains Yes. Here? I love it. It's very much New England. It's what the late fall mountains look like in this area, and that's what they represent with the colors. And that is my interwoven weaving that I have created. Um, and it is used throughout all my work. Um, here's another example of one with the multi colors of layers of reeds and different sizes of reeds with the bittersweet just gives it such motion. Always mm. moving, always, always. Mm. And you source um, your vines here in Connecticut, right? Yes, I You're go foraging in the woods yes. <laughs> in your free time? Yes, <laughs> it's so much fun, it really is. It's like a treasure hunt. <laughs> Um, this here is part of a series of um, different waves I have created. Um, this is is a very traditional weave, but yet interlaying the panels give it mm. the same feeling of motion, always moving into in between the bittersweets. Now, the flowers originally came from my doodling, and um, they are very fun. They're very popular. And they are also woven with my interwoven uh, technique, which is layers of different colors, which gives the petals such mm. dimension. Um, the center of this one is incredible. Yeah, that's interwoven with beads and reeds. I always look at the center of the flowers and say, oh, what does it look like, you know? And I use a lot of beads, as you can see, even in the purple ones. These here are whimsical wall hangers, um, and they are the, the no beginning and no end, and interwoven in between the bittersweet vines. Here is a coffee table that I have created. Um, so you're not manipulating these vines too much like that one in the center was light you found it like that right when it gets that thick i cannot manipulate it when it's thinner like the baskets the flowers those mm. i can manipulate um i would like to show you my gold mine of pieces and mm. i will Love show it. you the biggest fattest bittersweet that i mm. ever found so far mm. and that will be in a table someday so <laughs> this here is my latest piece. Um, it is the combination of both. It's the traditional weave with the interwoven layers of reeds on top. Kind of reminds me of a sail in the mm. wind. So know? how long would it take you to do a piece of this size? I know that probably all varies, but typically um, what's... What typically it takes several weeks, but I don't measure time. Time is not relevant when creating art to me. So I could tell you it takes several weeks. <laughs> so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, this is another part of the series of the, the waves. Um, this one reminds me very much of energy coming and going. And it is also my technique of weaving, uh, the inner layers of colors and weaving. Here are two wonderful baskets. Mm, um, I just love them. When I create- it looks like a cradle. Yes. See, um, this piece I love because this is very unusual. See how it's mm, square? That angle there. Angle there. Um, when I create the baskets, they're usually from one set of bittersweet. Bittersweet likes to entangle within itself also. So I like to leave it to what it wants to be like that, but bring it around and cradling it like that and creating a basket. Lovely. So. Um, here is circles and curves, which I absolutely like. It is a traditional weave, but it has that same feeling of where does it begin, where does it end? It just continues. Um, and the idea originally came from a piece of bittersweet that was interwoven mm. like that. It is, um, to me, that piece of bittersweet said, I want you to accept me. I want to stand out. And so... 
that's the vision it gave me and that's what became of it. Great, and these are all some of my favorite pieces. It allows for, if you had several of these, you can you know, move them around your wall, um, create different pieces of art. Yeah, that's the idea behind it. And, um, and they're very colorful and yet each one is very different in their coloring and yet they match mm -hmm. very much in different sizes which is a lot of fun. Um, this here is one of my mm. favorite pieces. It's yes. a tiki bar. Um, it reminds me of the bottom of the ocean mm. with the seaweed just moving in the water. Um, again, it is my technique of weaving and with different size reeds and layers and layers of it. That's wonderful. What are you holding on to there, Tina? This is a new piece of yours. <laughs> this, it's a commission, right? So yes. you work on commission. Yes, I work on commissions a lot. That's um, people get see one piece and they might combine colors or because um, I dye my own reeds. As you can see, here's a bundle of, of reeds that I just dyed. This is going to hang in a corner in, in my client's home. And it is actually going to be interwoven all throughout and yet being able to show off the bittersweet. And I said to her, you know, every three months you could hang it this way, and then in three months you could hang it this way. And then this <laughs> That's way, right. It could be this way. So that is so awesome. You have so many different ones. I just want to finish off with showing you another sculpture that I do self-standing. Oh, and that's this wonderful. is uh, the last one that I have made, and it's the layers of the interwoven reeds. And if you could really look, it's like two people hugging each other, interwoven. It's really lovely, Tina. Tina, thank you so much. Um, Tina, so you're in Studio 305 in yes. Whiting Mills. That's in Winston, Connecticut. Yes. Um, do you have an email address that you could give if somebody wants to contact you? Sure. They can contact me at tinasbaskets.com. I'm sorry, that's the website. <laughs> tinasbaskets at yahoo.com. Great. Thank you so much, Tina. It was really fun. Beautiful work. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Thanks.